Hey everyone, it's me QP83 and Barbie0913 and we have a new video here. It's another uh, doll show haul video. Oh. Yay! Um, so I did not get to go to this specific show. No. Because the baby is nine days old, which means I'm nine days into recovery and it would not have been a great experience. <laughs> you missed a good one though. I know, I hear we we missed a good one. Um, so I do expect to go to the next one, which is I think next month sometime. That's but, a big show. Yeah, me and the baby decided to hang out here. So my mom went, kind of. she kind of went solo, she went with my dad. <laughs> so she kind of went solo. <laughs> His very first style show. <laughs> so I can't really say much about it because I didn't actually go. It was a good show. Um, Funny thing is, when you got to the door and you got your ticket, you had to pay an additional dollar. Uh, apparently, some taxes went up in McHenry County, and uh, it was $7 and not $6 a person. But it's still the most reasonable priced doll show. Uh, they had a lot of people, a lot of booths, uh, a lot of people who might be downsizing, I think. Mm. Um, did I see the normal things that I normally like to buy? No, no Thumbelinas, no Giggles, no Little Miss No Names, um, nothing, not a lot of stuff from my era unless you're just calling Barbie. I mean, there right. was Barbie stuff, so um, it was fun. I went around about three or four times since my husband came and he sat outside after a while. And I looked around and I even found something for QB, so she'd have something. She did. Um, what else do you want to talk? I'm not used to doing solo here. <laughs> Um, there are people that I Here. saw. Who who stopped by and said hello? Uh, Miranda, Anna, Paul, and George the dog. It's always nice to see <laughs> uh, that family. They're always decked out in some stylish fashion. Right. As well. if, if you look for the mom and daughter dressed alike, that's <laughs> them. Um, they were so cute. I'm um, sorry I missed uh, being able to say hello, but maybe the next show. They were having a ball. They were finding lots of stuff. Um, another person I bumped into was Dennis, and it's usually Dennis and Petey, but I only saw Dennis. Um, and. Um, he said such nice things about our channel. He really did. Thank you. Yeah, my mom said, uh, my mom told me what you said about it, and I'm, yeah, that's why we do this. It was, yes. As far as booth people that we kind of know, that we've talked to all the time, um, let's see, you had Tasha was there with her great selection of dolls, all dolled up, tds.com. Her customs are really, really cool. She's got some really neat ones. You, um, there's some in the pictures. Hopefully you can see something you like and get a hold of her and tell her you want it now. My only Monster High custom doll is from her booth, and it's just, it's just always, I like it. Right. It's neat. And um, uh, Shirley Bertrand's daughter was there with a booth. Uh, Gigi, um, Gigi's do uh, dolls was there with their booth, and we know them. And uh, somebody that I buy stuff from uh, pretty reasonably, yeah. pretty much all the time. Yeah. Ms. Ms. Piggy Dolls. She's got really beautiful stuff. <laughs> if you're looking for um, a hard plastic composition, she really looks for the creme de la creme. So she's, you know, give her a ring. Look for her. Yeah. Um, there's some pictures in the video. So, um... As I said, I didn't get to go, but my mom did do some shopping for me, but my mom has more, of course, for her, so she of can course. start by, <laughs> uh, she can start by showing off something that she got. Oh, these are from Miranda, oh, yeah, that's one for you, me, and the baby. And the baby, the baby gets one. They are Barbie Kinder Joys. They have a Barbie toy in them. Ooh, Makes me want to know thank what they you, are. Miranda. They are cool. Okay, what did I, uh, first thing when I walked in, I saw... A Cynthia doll, best Cynthia. friend Cynthia. Ooh. And she has a little record set go in her. I don't know if she works. She's never been open before. But the thing is, the last show I went to, they were selling the clothes for this doll for like five dollars each. All mm -hmm. never, never used, never opened. And I should have bought them because if something's five dollars, you should think that. Well, if I keep it long enough, I'll find the doll that goes with it. So basically, I didn't 
So I'll have to hunt for her. <laughs> but I thought she's cool. She's kind of cool. She comes with records. Yeah, so we're going to do a video on her all by herself. Hopefully she works. Fingers uh, crossed. Hopefully, not like the other ones did. I don't know. Me again? Um, sure. Okay. Um, uh, put the kinder eggs on the table. Okay. Don't want to accidentally crush them with the baby or something. There was a lady at one booth. She was with her sister and she was getting rid of uh, doubles and triplicates of things that she had. And a lot of them were like from the National Barbie Convention. And then she had lots lots of Kellys, all, you know, never been opened. So she had a, a purse and I thought it was so cute. Yeah, I love the fabric on this. I like this. It's a, um, what is the name again on there? A Nicole Miller purse. And I'm like, this is so cute. Just enough for your phone or your keys and a, a little wallet or something. Yeah, it's like the perfect like movie going purse. You it know? is, and it's got Barbie and Ken on it, and there's your your stewardess oh. on it. But I thought it was so adorable and it was so reasonably priced and it was like, yes, I'll take it. Yeah, that fabric is super cute. It is. I don't remember that coming out. Hmm, I, don't, I have no idea. But you find a lot of things when you go to the convention. Yeah. There's some really cool things. There's a oh, look. And like the Corvette or whatever. His car, yeah. Oh, so really neat. So I'm looking forward to using that. So the one thing, and we'll put the baby. We'll put the baby down. Put the baby down. doop a doop a doo 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 There you go. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. There you go. There you go. Whoops. So, uh, I gave my mom a couple dollars and just said, you know, if you see certain, you know, she knows what I like anyway. Buy me something. If you see, see anything I'd like, here's mm -hmm. money. <laughs> and she came home with this cute little boy. right here uh, so he's an ichimatsu um japanese doll i think it's from the kiyu getsu doll company mm -hmm. um and he's just adorable he's from what do you say the 50s 60s like a tag, souvenir shop sort of doll well, i would have seen him at the tokyo shop definitely um yeah it just it doesn't say a date on the the tag but usually they're like things that my mom would have seen when she mm -hmm. was uh, littler at this Tokyo shop she mm -hmm. talks about. The Tokyo shop. I love the Tokyo <laughs> shop. It was a fun place. Uh, so he's wearing his kimono. He has cute shoes. And his face is so cute. You really can't go wrong. And you have to find these guys in good shape because it's impossible to find someone who will repair them. Like, it just they don't exist. There's one girl in California who says she repairs them. And I like she's like the only one I've ever heard of that does um but because of what they're made of they're incredibly hard to get restored but he's just so cute with his inset eyes here um and his face paints and he came with his little his cushion to sit on and he's a really good size at 15 and a half inches tall mm -hmm. um so he was a, a perfect find and definitely something i probably would have picked up on my own had i been there mm -hmm. so yeah and as usual, always see if anybody can go a little lower on your price. I did really well on that today. It was really nice. People were were happy to bring prices down. I don't know why. Maybe because they didn't want to bring everything back home with them. Maybe. But there was a lot of people. And I yeah. thought that was so cute. And if you try to go send him to get him repaired, then you have to worry about shipping. Yeah. And people smashing the boxes down. Yeah, and like, honestly, no one repairs this weird, like... Uh, oyster shell composition that is that these are made of. I wonder if you could use the seat, the sugru, that little clay stuff, that glue, and make it really, really thin if you had it as a patch. Use it as a patch. Maybe. I mean, maybe. Because that's what I used for my little bilo. I mean, at this point, you have to do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you, you gotta, gotta do. do. What you gotta do. All right. Um, something that I picked up. To join the Tana collection of dolls. I always thought this one was adorable. I mean, Aww. I don't have any of these. This is the cousin. The cousin, um, okay, if I could see. This is Betsy McCall's cousin, Barbara. Barbara. 
And I think Barbara is adorable. Let's see, can you come out? Did I untie you? There you go. She's super cute. I mean, I kind of miss that part of Tanner's designing. Mm -hmm. She was probably really overpriced, though. At, and when Tanner was selling her. Oh, and she had a lovely price today. So she gets to go home and she's got such pretty eyes. Look at those she eyes. She does. They like the blue the that they use. sparkle. Used. They're like turquoise. They're beautiful. So I got her. I thought she was adorable. I also uh, got these two Skipper dolls here. Uh, super cute. Slim pickings on Skipper dolls. It's hard to find. You wanted something with a bendable knee. Almost everything was straight leg. So I didn't, I tried not to get you those. Yeah, these are really fun though, especially because I need out, I need dolls so I can dress up and put outfits yes, on. Uh, so these two will be probably redressed because I think I have this one in uh, the fashion already. I think you do. Uh, so they'll be redressed with other fashions. Uh, one person had a, a table with a bin, everything was a dollar on it. By the time I got to that table, someone was already standing at this box and there were vintage dolls and she had pretty much her hand full of all of them that she bought and when you looked under the table that the the lady who was uh pricing everything and and charging her it was she hadn't gotten to the stack that was underneath the table already mm -hmm. so by the time i looked at it there were only a couple skippers and um a few rickies and those weren't a dollar mm. so kind of makes me wonder what was in that bin yeah, that's always the worst. Because she seemed to have gotten something, and she was just like, grabbed it and said, Oh, yes, that too, that too, that too. And I was like, oh, okay. As mm -hmm. far as COVID, you know, and people being um, less people in a booth, it was a little bit different. People had masks on, everybody had masks on, but mm -hmm. everybody was kind of like back to the, I'm going to take this space, and you're just not going to push me for it. And it was like... Okay, there's a lot of people at that space, uh, so I went around again. But otherwise, it was pretty good. Everybody had their masks on. It's really impossible, unless the booth owner says only four people in my booth at one time. Mm. Like, it's impossible to try to police that. Yeah. And another little girl, this is the one I got from Ms. Piggy. I thought she's so cute. She has a few little mess-ups on her arm where the color is wrong. Um... Here we go with the glasses again. Um, she is F and B's Patricia, all composition, marked F and B. Cute, unidentified outfit, cute doll for display. And I just saw her and I thought she was so cute. She's just cute. Yeah, I think she's adorable. Cute face, cute hair, cute hat. I like some of the older F and B's. And when I was collecting F and B's, it was like the same doll no matter what you got, and mm. the, the outfits were boring. I mean, these were actually kind of cute. So I'm, I love her. And I got this girl. This one I might be sharing. Oh, she lost a shoe. She oh, it's right here. I just don't have it on right. Um, might be sharing with Lena uh, for when she gets older. It's one of the ones um, from the 40s with the floss hair. I want to see if maybe her hair was a little bit different if it's not in the braids because I can't seem to find anything that shows her in the braids. Hmm. Um, she's an F&B little lady doll, yarn hair. Uh, and I think they're just kind of cute, especially for a little girl to put on their her her shelf. Yeah. I mean, this is new. I'd like to find something a little bit more that would have, she would have worn, but I thought it was cute and it was reasonably priced. Yeah, it is pretty. She's a pretty one. She's a pretty girl. And then my last item, which I think was my second item. I, you know, everybody out here probably has a Marie Osmond doll. I've never had a Marie Osmond doll one of the ones she made I saw this little guy and he thought he was so cute it's the groom mm -hmm. and he was so reasonably priced he's adorable I, I love his eyes I think I like the boys better than the girls are you stuck in there boy where are you stuck oh there you are you weren't stuck there and I thought he was so cute. Apparently there's a little bride that goes with him. 
And, uh, but I don't like the bride. The bride is really, her hair is really very foo-foo. I just didn't like it, a blonde little bride. But he's adorable. And the cutest little thing is he comes with a little, a little ring. Aww. A little diamond in the little box. That's so it's cute. So cute. It makes me want to find him a little girl. But um, I love the eyes. The eyes are so big. Yeah, I like the face on this one a lot. And Marie Osmond dolls are either like hit or miss for me. Like some of them are kind of weird looking. Yeah. But some of them are cute and this one is he's definitely so a cute. cute. One. I think it's just because he's a boy. It Maybe. could very well be. Less makeup, less hair, yeah, stuff not, going not, on. And I, I was just like, wow. And the lady said she had three other dolls. And I said, well, I'm on my first loop around. I said, I'll come back. But by the time I went around, they were gone. But this one I had bought right away. I said, well, no, I'm going to buy him. Mm -hmm. So he's cute. But uh, that's all that I got. Fun stuff. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of really nice stuff there. I couldn't afford any of the high price bisque, uh, but there was a few booths that had porcelain dolls, you know, the real mm -hmm. tall ones, like uh, from uh, uh, the uh, TV sales ones. Like QVC. QVC, yeah. Like those, the real tall ones, the really artsy 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 ones gotcha yeah and which i don't have a lot of space for it uh, seems like it was a really good show though it was um they didn't have any play patty play pals though mm -hmm. that, i was surprised to see big walker dolls from the old eras you know they weren't there yeah and sometimes you can find them there yeah i feel like we found the majority of them at that specific show we did yeah yeah so we'll see what happens at the next show i think the next show is in october and I think it might be the toy show. It is the big show. It's the Halloween show. Yes. So the Kane County toy show uh, it will be October. Uh, and that one has, uh, you know, some doll vendors, but also lots of, like, boy toys, uh, Halloween-y sort of if stuff. If you like monsters, oh, definitely go there and find yeah. some monsters. But um, if you're looking for dolls, don't just think that they're going to be in that one little hallway because other booths will have dolls there too. And if you don't go to those rooms, you're going to miss out on seeing what else could be. Yeah, could I mean, get. basically it just means they didn't pay for a spot in the atrium. So, like, yeah. just mm -hmm. go to all the different rooms, even if you see the, like, it's the majority of the G.I. Joes or boy toys or whatever. Right. Because there's probably doll vendor in there who's like, where are my people? Where are my people? Which is where the doll show that I went to today kind of misses out because somebody was walking around and they were looking for G.I. Joes. I think if you were going to sell dolls, you should have some G.I. Joes too. Yeah, figures. Yeah. I think still kind of fit the bill. Yeah. But it was fun. And we sorely missed... Miss Cupid being yes. there. I will be back up and running definitely by the Chicago Toy Show. So when you don't see a lot of pictures, it's because she wasn't there to take them all. <laughs> it's totally fine. Everyone needs a show where they just shop. That's what a I say. A show where they just shop. Where you just shop. <laughs> and I think it's the third time I've done one by myself. Uh, yeah, I think I've only missed a handful of yeah. them. Um, but yeah, so uh, again, huge shout out to everyone who stopped my mom and said hello and met my dad if he was wandering around <laughs> with my mom. Um, and again, everyone who said good things about the baby in the baby, uh, announcement video. Mm -hmm. it, 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 yeah, thank you so much. It's all so lovely and it's been a whirlwind nine days, but you know, we love her and we're going to keep her. We are so. going to keep her. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we hope you enjoyed that. Let us know if you went to this show or if you've gone to a show in your area. Uh, and uh, yeah, let, let us know about it in the comments. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.